All right, guys, let's talk peppers today. I'm going to just jump right into it. We're not going to waste much time. I need to go start some seeds. Last year, I did a trial between two peppers, Edgevarsky, which is a pepper that I've planted for years now, and Carmen. I've lost my packet of seeds. Here we go. Okay, Edgevarsky um, is an Italian sweet pepper. It produces huge, like seven inch long, at least in our garden. Remember, I'm growing here in Minnesota, um, southern Minnesota, and we have probably some of the best soil in the nation. Um, but this is a fantastic pepper, huge, del absolutely delicious, sweet peppers, deep red in color. Last year, I was asked if I grew Carmen pepper when I was doing my plant sales, and I had some. It was my first year with them, um, and I decided to trial the two. Now, they're very similar peppers. I would say that Carmen is a little bit more irregular than the Edgevarsky, which is funny because Carmen is an F1 hybrid, um, where Edgevarsky is an heirloom, but Edgevarsky still uh, won out for me, hands down. I will never not have this pepper in my garden. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, Carmen was a great pepper as well, and I know many people that love that. It was highly requested. Um, but this next year, I'm going to do a trial between Edgevarsky Carmen to test those two again because I always one year is never enough to make a decision off of and Italian sweet which is also another um, Italian sweet heirloom pepper that's supposed to get about the same size as these two so I'm excited to test the three of those out and see which one um, I prefer but I will never not have Edgevarsky number one sweet pepper I would always recommend someone um, some, someone plant. Edgevarsky actually, um, won out over bell peppers for me at this point, even. Um, I love bell peppers for their, for their size and their blockiness for stuffing, but for just peppers that we're going to saute up and eat, or, um, maybe throw on the grill, uh, even just for, hunking up and chucking in the freezer for the winter time there is absolutely nothing like slicing open a bag of peppers that you have cut and put in your freezer for winter now don't thaw them because they'll be mushy when you eat them but opening that up and oh the smell of that that waft of summer peppers just it never ceases to amaze me in the dead of winter we just had like seven inches of snow yesterday it is march is it the fourth 16th i think it's the 16th today um oh the smell is just phenomenal so if you're gonna chop peppers and throw them in your freezer a little tip saute them from frozen be a little bit careful make sure there isn't too much oil in your pan because obviously you're you're sticking something that's frozen with water molecules on it into hot oil. Um, so just be a little bit careful doing that. But the best way to preserve peppers, minus maybe oven roasting them and putting them in oil and putting them in your fridge, that's super good too. Okay, so Edgevarsky, Carmen and Italian Sweet. Trial this year, Edgevarsky, still my favorite so far. Next, Lessa. I think that's how you say this. If someone else has another idea or thought or knows how to actually say it, let me know, please. This one was new to me next year or last year. Peppers are about four to five inches long, I would say. Stunning peppers. Um, deep, 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 deep red, like literally like the color of the, in the picture or my scarf here. Um, absolutely beautiful. So delicious. These actually... These ripened a little later than some of my other peppers, but they still did ripen here in Minnesota, which I wasn't sure if they were going to, um, but they they did. They ripened well, and they ripened toward the end of the season and more at once, 
Even the ones I picked green though, with just a little blushing on them were still really good. Um, but if you're looking for, at least here in Minnesota, if you're looking for a pepper that is going to um, give you a lot of ripe peppers, you know, that's not even really true. I got quite a bit off of these, but I had a lot of plants as well. So if you're only going to plant one or two, I'm not sure how this will do for you um, for producing sweet red peppers in Minnesota. It's more south than us, zero problem. You would be just fine. Great pepper though, planting it again. Um, really, really liked that one. Sweet chocolate. This one's been in my garden for a lot of years. Um... The first year that I planted it, I felt like the peppers were a little bit bigger and more uniform. Since then, I've been planting it in a different garden, um, not in my backyard garden. I've been planting it out at our big horse pasture garden. Um, I am going to try this one at home again and out there to see if the size difference um, happens again. Still a delicious, wonderful pepper, productive plants. Let it ripen to where the brown chocolate color has a red undertone to it if you ripen or if you pick it before that um let it ripen a little bit it will ripen off of the vine but i usually leave it on the plant until that chocolatey color has a nice rich red undertone that's when you know it's ripe if you pick it then the inside will be kind of a brick deep rich red color if you pick it before that the inside will actually still be fairly green with just some brown hues to it it's not fully ripe yet and you won't have that full delicious sweet flavor that you're looking for from this pepper so that's just a little tip with it i know some people didn't know if they cared for this one as much you were probably picking it before it was fully ripe goddess this is the best 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 banana pepper that i have ever grown massive. They were like nine inches long. You'll see pictures of it on the website. I'll show you one here when I pull it up or you just saw one if I stuck it in before I said that. Um, these were incredible. Huge yields, massive peppers, fantastic for making your like pepper rings for in the fridge. Um, I really like spicy peppers. I didn't have a chance to plant any Hungarian hots this last year. I'm going to plant them this year. But these, I just added some of my chili peppers to the jar with them, and they were fantastic. You don't need as many of these when you're chopping, which is amazing. But their rings are still your standard size. They just get to be so long. These were incredible. They are an F1. You probably won't necessarily save, save seeds from these, but they were fantastic. Glow. Glow is an orange um, sweet pepper, not a bell pepper, but a little bit more bell pepper shaped than, say, the Italian sweet peppers. This one was a fantastic orange pepper. The plants weren't quite as productive. Last year was my first year with it. I'm going to try it again this year and see how they do. They they were productive plants, but not as productive as some of the other varieties that I've grown that being said, I have a hard time growing orange peppers, getting them to ripen well before they have like sun spots or something that makes the pepper go bad. This one, um, I never had a single pepper go bad on it before I picked it, which was fantastic. And they were always really nice, thick walled, meaty peppers. So that's another one that I'm going to grow this year again. My last two sweet peppers, King of the North. California Wonder. King of the North is probably my favorite um, sweet bell pepper for in Minnesota. Um, almost the same size as California Wonder, but it ripens sooner. So if you are north and you need a faster ripening bell pepper, these are those peppers for you. Um, that being said, pretty much all the bell peppers on my website will ripen here in Minnesota and do well for you. Um, I've picked them specifically so that they will ripen in my garden. So keep that in mind. If you're a southern grower, obviously you don't have a problem with that. Your peppers are going to ripen for you. But here we have such a short season to get peppers to ripen um, can be tricky. So these are the best. I get asked all the time for a green bell pepper. 
bell peppers all start off green mostly some don't some of the like purple or chocolate varieties are going to ripe ripen to a different color but they'll start purple um but most bell peppers start green a green bell pepper is just an unripe bell pepper um it's just a pepper that was picked before it ripened and so most peppers will ripen to a different color a lot of mine will ripen to red um, I do think I have, I'm offering some yellow and orange bell pepper varieties this year that are new to me. Um, but keep that in mind. If you want green bell peppers, just pick them before they turn red or yellow or orange. Um, that being said, some peppers taste better green than others because they are meant to ripen a lot of peppers, that's why many people don't prefer a green bell pepper, is because they're not ripe, their flavor isn't as good. But some bell peppers do taste fine green or better green than others. So keep that in mind. I do believe I've noted those on the website if they're said to have a better flavor when they're green. Um, also keep in mind that um, Peppers really, they send out three flushes typically of, um, of fruit in a season, at least here for me. And that first flush of peppers, I will often pick off um, a lot of those green and I will use them however it is that I'm going to use green bell peppers. Once you've picked those off, that, that plant's going to send out another flush of flowers and peppers. Now, if you want a lot of ripe peppers in your season, you want to um, pull those first big ones that you get so that it will send out more so that you have more peppers ripening sooner here in Minnesota. If you wait and you just let it go and slowly ripen this one and slowly ripen that one, you're going to get like three or ripe peppers off of your plant. That's not what you're going for. You're going for 10, 12 peppers off of your plant. So remember that. Pick off those first ones before they ripen. When they're a good size to use, pull them off. Let your plant flush out again. It will send off more. I know it sounds counterintuitive to do that, but it is important for its production, especially here in the north, if you want more ripe peppers to do that. Okay. Moving on to chilies. There's two new ones that I'm excited about this year. Um, I found out really fast last year that Minnesotans love jalapenos, not so much other chili peppers, um, simply because of the spice, which I kind of knew. Um, but we love spicy food, and I know that we have some friends that really do as well. So we also plant for ourselves a lot of chili, spicier chili peppers. For those who do not like spice but really enjoy the flavor of a jalapeno or a habanero, there's two new varieties that I'm carrying this year, and one is nada pino and one is habanada. Now, both of these have the flavor of their spicy counterparts, but without the heat. I have not tried these. I've been told sometimes they have a little tiny bit of heat to them, but generally um, they are heatless. So if you are the type of person that loves the flavor of these but cannot handle spice or maybe you have little kids who want jalapeno poppers but they can't handle the spice and you want to do something like this just I would recommend planting them away from your other ones and make sure you mark them so that you don't accidentally grab a spicy habanero or a spicy jalapeno and give it to the person who doesn't like spice that wouldn't be lovely although it could be a fun april fool's joke if they were ready then which they won't be okay other chilies some of my favorites pasillo bajillo okay this one is probably one of my well not many people buy this one but you should I absolutely love this pepper. It is a Mexican seasoning pepper. It is traditionally used once it's ripened for mole sauce. 
but I absolutely love it in my salsas and roasted um, for in chilies and things like that. It's fantastic also smoked and dried and done into a powder or mixed with the other things. So I would really recommend that one. Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush Peach. Sugar Rush Red. Sugar Rush Peach became, I think, my husband's favorite chili pepper last year. I want to say the spice level is maybe about a jalapeno. Um, it isn't super spicy. It might be a little bit sometimes spicier than a jalapeno. Um, but the flavor is fantastic. It tastes like a sweet pepper, but with spice. We chopped this one up and threw it in our sautés on the stove and eggs for breakfast, um, ate them fresh. I actually think they would be really, really delicious um, in rings and pepper rings in the fridge for winter time. Um, the Sugar Rush Red, um, I'm guessing it's going to be very similar Last year, I didn't plant the red. Um, my coloring for the Sugar Rush Peach did not get as intense as they're showing in the picture. Mine was um, a little bit more peachy, lighter peach toned, um, but amazing peppers, incredibly prolific. I planted a lot of these and um, wow, I did not need as many plants as I planted, um, but we ate them all. So maybe we did. Okay, those are great. Puma. This was new to me this year. These peppers are a little bit smaller. I would say, um, well, maybe about the size of a habanero, but not quite beautiful plants. These are a beautiful ornamental. I actually put these in my pots by my arbors last year. Um, the, the foliage is purpley green. Um, absolutely beautiful. The peppers are stunning and they have a very unique flavor. I found myself chucking these in my salsas by the handful. Um, they added such a unique flavor. I really, really like them in my salsas that I added like mango to, or um, we did an apricot one this year, apricot with the tomatoes and peppers and all that. That was incredible with these. All right, since our Minnesotans here love their jalapenos, I have a lot of different varieties this year and plenty of them. But two I'm excited to try and see if they'll actually ripen here and how they'll do are orange spice and lemon spice. So these you can pick um, green as you normally would a jalapeno or you can let them ripen to the orange and the yellow. I'm excited to just test them out and try a little something more fun um, for jalapenos. Now these were my favorite spicy peppers this last season. Um, Death Spiral and Apocalypse Scorpion. Fantastic peppers. Um, about two of these in one of my big pots. Um, by big, I mean not your typical kettle that you would use, but like my big kettles. Two of these in a pot um, made a medium-ish. It depended on the weather. Some of my peppers, um, they just weren't as spicy for a little while because we had had a lot of rain. Um, my plants had been destroyed by the wind earlier in the season, so they were behind. So when the rains came, my peppers were just starting to get to the point where they were um, ripening. And so... Initially, I could probably add three of these into those pots and get a probably a mild to medium salsa. By the end, when it was starting to dry out a little bit more, um, these peppers would give me one, one to two in a pot would give me definitely a medium salsa by Minnesota standards. Um, I could probably have put one to two more per pot and gotten it to a significantly spicier level that we would have really enjoyed. Um, but they were beautiful. They were beautiful on the plant as well. They were really neat. Um, don't forget to wear gloves. And I put them in my um, food processor, not by themselves, mind you. I would put them in with like my onion or some sweet peppers or things, something else when I did it and then I would chop them up and then I would put them in my salsa right away. 
Um, that way I wasn't just breathing their straight um, fumes, which wouldn't have been lovely. Um, but mixed in with something else, it wasn't really that bad at all. Um, I'm excited to make some hot sauce or something out of them. Maybe mixed with that sugar rush peach and stuff. That's going to be fantastic. I always have to have a poblano in my garden. I don't really care which variety it is. Um, this is the one I've traditionally planted. I have one or two other varieties this year that are F1s that I'm going to try. I love these. We we stuff these in the summertime and roast them or put them on the grill and they're fantastic. We also um, really like them chopped and roasted up and thrown in our chilies and salsas. I will roast these, chop them up and throw them in my freezer for winter for chilies. Um, love poblanos and lastly I'm excited this year to try a fresno pepper um, because we like spicier peppers I've never grown fresno um, I jalapeno is really the least spicy we grow um, and then most of our peppers are significantly spicier than that but I'm excited to try this one as maybe a stuffing pepper or even just for in our chilies and things like that. I know Fresnos are, they're just a great flavoring chili. Um, so I'm excited to try that one this year. This one is Flaming Flare. It is an F1 and I think it's the only Fresno pepper that I'm carrying this year. So there you go, chilies and sweet peppers. There's many other varieties that I love, many other varieties of peppers and things that are on the website. If they're on there, most of them I have tried and really enjoy. Um, keep in mind that the yellow peppers and some of the orange peppers that are on there for sweet peppers this year are new to me um, and I have not tried them. So I would love your feedback from those this year to see if we have similar experiences or if you've grown them before. Um, I would love to know what your experience was with those as well. Planting your pepper plants. I know I get this question quite a bit and I have lately. Um, I plant my peppers 12 inches apart. I know that a lot of things will tell you you can plant them farther away than that. I don't. I plant them in a double row. Um, sometimes I even do a triple row. Um, and then I stagger that middle row so that it's um, everything's kind of equally spaced 12 inches apart. Um, that'll give me about a three to three and a half foot wide band so I can easily reach from either side. I plant them close like that one because it doesn't affect their production at all. Two, um, they actually help each other out. We are in a very windy area so planting them a foot apart helps them hold each other up. Okay so when a windstorm goes through, they help support each other. I, now, I do support them anyway, but I don't have to support them as much when I plant them closer together. Two, peppers are very susceptible to sun scald. If there's part of a pepper that is not um, covered by the leaves of the plant, which some pepper plants just don't have as many, have as much leaf coverage as others, and even when they do, they're such a branchy open habit oftentimes that in a very sunny space, they're going to end up with sun scald. And then that pepper really isn't any good for you. A lot of times it won't fully be able to ripen because it'll just rot on the plant. Planting them closer together helps each, when you think of this triangle canopy, if they're planted a foot apart, those canopies are going to overlap or touch at least. So now when you've got these triangle canopies, you've got these peppers that are down in here and they're covered by the sun because from the sun because those canopies touch. Um, I would definitely recommend planting them about a foot away from each other. Don't go any closer than that. You want to give them space, but they don't need to be planted any farther away than that unless maybe, again, I'm growing a very fertile soil. So maybe you could give them 18 inches if your soil isn't as fertile and you need them to be able to uptake more nutrients from your soil. But I don't know that I would go farther apart than that. I would um, certainly keep them at least 18 inches away from each other so they're still protecting one another. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, watch the Facebook page and um, 
I'm going to be posting a post that is going to be talking about a little special that I'm going to run here this spring. I know seeds have been hard to source for some people, and so I'm excited to be able to offer this. Um, watch for that. I'm probably going to post it in the next day or so. Um, and other than that, happy planting. If you're already planting and if you're in Minnesota and you just got the seven inches of snow that we got yesterday, I'm sorry. <laughs>